Hi, this is Jim Allswager, futures trading specialist with MicroQuant and ValueCharts.com. Today is July 2nd, 2013, and this is the video of the day for July 2nd. And what I want to show in this chart here is MQ indicators and how they work. And MQ indicators are custom indicators that in combination are very, very reliable. And here's a great example of how they work. And we'll see if we can't point this out and show you some great examples so that you might want to consider looking at using these indicators to help your trading. What we have here is a 2000 tick chart in gold. And we have several MQ indicators on this chart. First of all, if you look at the green line here going upwards, that's MQ regression. The dotted green line that we see right here is MQ trend. And when both of these indicators are in agreement, and in this case they rolled over from a bearish trend to a bullish trend, and I highlighted that with this vertical line right here that you can see, where MQ trend and MQ regression both rolled over and are now long. So right at that point, the first thing we want to do is we watch for an undervalued bounce. Now what that is, is another MQ indicator called value bars. Value bars, we overlay on the charts that indicator and it will tell us if a price is overvalued or undervalued relative to a recent history based on your own customization. So the way we would trade this then is, is MQ trend and MQ regression are both now up. We're waiting for an undervalued bar which we get right here by the first arrow here. You should be able to see that this bar is highlighted or painted yellow at the very tip telling us it is moderately undervalued at which point we go long. On this first trade, 1209.60, we are looking at approximately $1,100 a contract opportunity there. The next time uh, the uh, bars became undervalued was right here on this bar and let's see here on this bar it was at about 12 12 83 now here you would have taken a little heat you would have had uh, about three three and a half uh, dollars of heat so you would have had to have a stop loss of around 30 ticks 35 ticks somewhere in there depending on your stop loss you might have been stopped out on this trade if not it would have you again you would see what rolled up and would have been successful the very next opportunity in the uptrend, we did have this bar right here above this third arrow, where again we were moderately undervalued and had a perfect opportunity of taking almost no heat, and you could have went long on that trade, 12, 13, and you could have made around $3,000 a contract on that trade. The very next time we get an undervalued bar was right here. Now keep in mind we're getting a little later in the trend, so there's going to be less effectiveness as that trend moves forward and ages, but potentially here you could have taken this trade, it would have been a riskier trade, 12.29.24. Uh, here it certainly would have went against you about $5 or 50 ticks. Uh, you would have had to have a pretty sizable uh, stop loss to stay in that trade. Uh, however, again, when we when a trend has progressed for some time, once we get past that third opportunity or so, uh, we don't really watch for too many opportunities at that point, or we can as long as we get some uh, other divergences or other reasons to take the trade. The real key to taking this kind of trade is really in the beginning of a trend when MQ trend and MQ regression are both in agreement. It's the beginning of a new trend. We wait for the undervalued bounces in this case because the trend and regression are both long. And then let's get over here to this end. Uh, you can see where MQ trend and MQ regression both rolled over to the short side. And I will show you that right here. Right there is where it started. And now we're going to take the first overvalued bounce, which we get right by this red arrow here. And if you would have taken that trade, oh, excuse me. 
let me erase this line here if we would have taken that trade we would have gotten short at around 1250 and you would have been up about $900 a contract so really take a look at our MQ indicators they work well together and down below uh, we have MQ momentum which shows us bearish and bullish divergences I really didn't even need to use those in this example uh, that's why you want to take a look at our indicators go to valuecharts.com or if you have any questions email me at jallswager at microquant.com that's j-a-l-s-w-a-g-e-r at microquant.com and remember to always manage yourself manage your emotions and then manage your trades and have a great day okay if you have any more interest or would like to find out more about us, MicroQuant or the MQ indicators, feel free to visit us at YouTube. And also, we also have an operating options trading room at this point in time and coming soon will be our Forex and equities trading room. We'd love to have you. Check us out. Remember, manage yourself always, manage your emotions, and then manage your trades. Have a great day.